not sponsored. It's fucking cold. So now I'm just getting kind of to school. Um, it's so cold outside. I can't even explain to you guys how cold it is. My car was frosted this morning, so get the jet. Takes my finger a few tries. My nail's too long. God, it's so cold, I just wanna go inside, bro. There's no one out here either to help me. My fingerprint wasn't working for the door, so I'm gonna go sign in and come back. Sign in. I was wondering what I had this morning. You have a spa mini and spa pity at 10. And then an express petty at winter. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Right after asking the front desk what I have for the day, they usually tell me how many clients I have, what time the clients are, so I also know what time to take a lunch. I usually will leave all my makeup and my ring light in my locker just for the sake of I'm not really going to need it, so bring it back and forth makes no sense to me. But we have about 30 minutes to an hour to get ready in the morning, so that's currently what I'm about to start doing is doing my makeup. Alright, I feel really awkward about this to be fully honest. I decided maybe I should film with my iPhone because like my camera is like really big and really bulky. Oh yeah, people here also claim that they're blinded by my ring light, which is like a complete bullshit ass thing because like all barbers, well I know a lot of them use ring lights, like night school students. So yeah. If I fucking get copyright too for all this nasty ass Christmas music that's playing and all this bad music, I don't know whose playlist this is, but it's bad. Let me tell you, it's bad. Student services are something you can get done when you've been at school for the whole week and haven't missed any of your 35 hours. I currently decided to just get my eyebrows straight edge razored because I've never gotten them done before like that. And then also got a new slit put into my that, eyebrow like just for the fun it, of it. Like going with it, right? Okay, yeah. And then probably more. I want it like more in the front is what I wanted. So whatever you think. Okay. So like front right here. Mm-hmm. Right there, kind of angled this way. Yeah. All right. Is this one mm -hmm. clean? Yeah. No, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna fill this one completely and then just do this in that way. Oh, okay. Let's see how this works out now. <laughs> nice. Thank okay. you. So I just got them cut and obviously they're a lot different and there's like a patch right here, but it's because of how we cut it, but I don't really care. I'm gonna be filling this one in completely now. So this is just kind of how I'm gonna start to fill in my eyebrows now. 
Okay, so I'm gonna fill in this side now. I've like always done my eyebrows this messy and then I'll just like conceal them in. So I just filled in my eyebrows and this is what they look like so far. So basically I decided to do a new slit. If I want to, I can fill this slit in and then do this one instead on any day that I really want to. But for now, this is the one that I like. I can't wait to put on lashes and actual makeup <laughs> with it. I couldn't even put on my lashes yet. I literally have no fucking time, so I'm gonna actually just put on some, like a lip mask, and then I'm gonna go grab my products and then grab my client and then do it obviously. I have like a sample of like this lip mask that I bought. But I'm using the sample instead. Okay, so I'm gonna go get products really quick and then I'll show you guys basically how I set up and stuff like that. Could I get a pedicure and a manicure bag? <laughs> Thank you. Oops. Thank you. So now that I'm grabbing products, bare feet is to clean your feet and any smells. The next product we'll be using is obviously going to be our best friend, which is going to be some Scrub Fresh. Scrub Fresh is really good for cleaning. We usually say we scrub it fresh. <laughs> I really hate that saying. We also got 99% alcohol, and I also didn't grab in this video um, acetone, but we also do use those. Now grabbing some lint-free pads, a wooden pusher, and a lip applicator. The lip applicator is actually going to be used to clean any of the excess nail polish that ended up getting on your skin. We're going to grab some cotton balls and then head over to our client and start the service. So Ron also like just picked me up. I just got done with that client and it was a difficult client. I basically had to do a pedicure and a manicure back to back so it took me like two and a half hours kind of but now I'm like really tired and really hungry and he hasn't even said anything about my new eyebrow slit which is weird. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna get food and I have glue right here. So when I go back to class, school, work, whatever the fuck it basically is, because I basically am sitting there and I have two clients today. So I had one at 10 and that basically ended at like 12.30. And so that was a regular nail polish, not shellac. So it wasn't really hard at all. The only thing that I'm gonna really be on a difficult with today is I might be having a microderm patient but I'm trying to cancel that because I'm not really good at microderm yet and I've never really done a microderm yet every day I take a hour <coughs> lunch really <laughs> i take an hour lunch that's all i can take on saturdays i usually take only a 30 minute lunch i'm about to go back in i have an express petty next or an express manicure i'm not too sure which one it was but basically an express compared to a spa is basically just really cleaning up without a mask scrub or a massage so yeah, I'm excited because I like doing expresses. They're a lot faster. Thanks, Rhonda. I'm so tired. I've been sitting in front of like the mall for about like 10 minutes because I still have like some time in my lunch. So 
I didn't want to go in yet, but now I'm about to do this express pedicure. Um, probably right after I go home, honestly. There is not much to do today. And I usually don't go home this early, like around like, because I'll probably leave around like two or so. Don't really leave usually around that time. I've been trying to stay until at least 4.30, but today I think might just be a day where I go home because I'm really tired. So let's go do that pedicure and then I'll explain more afterwards. After my express pedicure, I ended up having a wax patient right afterwards, so that's currently what I'm doing. So I'm literally about to go home. There's not much more to do. I just got done with my, with my client, so I'm gonna go clean up now. I cannot wait to be home. I'm about to go eat pho. Peace. So basically that was my day, day, day the beauty school, beauty school day. So this is gonna be like my I was like looking to see if someone was over there but this is gonna be like my final little thing I know this was such like a boring random video but I really wanted to kind of show you guys what I go through in a day most of the times like I'm leaving right now like I said I was gonna leave around two but it's actually almost four I ended up doing another service I did a waxing and I also helped a teacher with his nails so basically my day is over i'm so tired i'm ready to eat i feel like i just spit but i don't really care thanks for watching um i'm probably gonna actually do one next time of like a more in-depth video but for now i just wanted to do a small one of kind of showing you guys what my day is i go do this from nine to five tuesday to saturday so i got three more months of doing this i've been doing it for four months so far <sighs> So ready to be graduated. <laughs> Thank you for watching though.